Hello Aries, welcome into this daily spilling of the tea reading. In this reading, we are going to be checking into your energy as well as somebody else's energy and see what has been happening between you and them. How are you currently feeling today, Aries? Let's have a look and see. At the end of this reading, I'm going to get your spirit guides advice out for whatever it is you are dealing with today. You've got a page of materials, which is the page of pentacles energy let's see what else comes up here for you you got the six of emotions oh boy which is the six of cups energy in the original tarot what other two cards can we get out here for you and the muse of emotions as well i'm gonna put this one straight out there it has an ex-person who in the past really hurt you shown up back in your world this is a confusing energy that has come up here because you've got the page of materials this is an offer of stability that is coming in here and because this page of materials has come in it also tells me um, this is a beginning of something new but this offer this person that has come in here who may have contacted you is somebody from your past with the six of emotions coming up it talks about you having memories about them from the past that is an emotional attachment for some of you guys out there this can even be the mother or father of your child at one point this person you know the funny word that just came up that I don't use that often but it I literally came into my mind was at one point this person played you <laughs> because they did both of these things to you they gave you love this is the king of emotions, the king of cups energy in this deck is called the muse of emotions. This tells me that some of you guys even may have lived together. This relationship was a very strong one. There was love and you did feel that they loved you. And at the same time, this person who loved you also hurt you the most with the tenor voices. I don't know what it is that they did, but they did something that intentionally broke your heart. And you are still recovering from this even now. And here they come. They're back. So let's have a look and see. Let's have a look and see. With regards to this energy, a card has fallen. I want to get it for you guys. Let's see what it is. Who are we dealing with here? We're dealing, <laughs> two cards fell, with the five of cups in the reverse position, which is the five of emotions, the emperor, in their energy as well which is quite interesting pretty much focused on work can be cold sometimes there is a problem what else is in their energy by the way five of cups hurts nine of voices hurts <laughs> yes worried about the future that is the nine of swords energy and it is in the reverse position let's see what else comes up here the tower. Yes, it's an X. Thank you, Spirit, for showing us. Yes, this is an X energy. Um, there they are. They're coming back in. If I'm just saying this person hasn't shown up yet, be wary throughout the day. You may get some kind of contact from them. Currently, right now in their energy, they have been focusing a lot on work with the Emperor being here. They've been working, they've been uh, focusing on improving uh, their finances, all of these kinds of things. It's almost like they've been building themselves up to be more um, stronger or powerful than what they were before. But, there's a but, even though they're focusing so much on work, they've got the Five of Cups here and they've got the Nine of Swords here. Nine of voices, five of emotions, which tells me that they have been hot. They have been heartbroken and they are hurt now as well. They may be missing you. And this is what's bringing them in. At the same time, they've got a fear attached to how you're going to receive them back. They are very worried with the nine of voices energy. Um, maybe much, much more than what you ever thought they were. Because of the nine of voices being in the reverse position, they're even paranoid to some level. I feel like they're afraid of what has happened in the past. They're afraid of what they did to you 
in the past. And because of that, it was this, what they did to you caused a tower moment to come in. And this is what makes them scared. They're afraid that you will turn them away or that you may even accuse them or you may even laugh in their face as them coming back. They're worried that you have not forgiven them yet, that you have not forgiven them yet. This is their biggest stress right now. But they are missing you here with the Five of Cups energy. Let's see what actions will either occur or has occurred between you and them. Let us see what Spirit will show us. What actions has either occurred between the two of you or possibly what may occur. Let's have a look and see. This is the part I think that most of us want to know about. The actions, I, this card literally just click so hard i think you heard it and when i saw it i couldn't believe it they may have cheated on you with the three of swords energy they may have cheated on you and that's what hurt you so badly i'm shocked <laughs> i'm shocked to see that card that's what made you end this relationship they cheated on you now they're coming back in wanting to build the stability wanting to apologize wanting you to forgive them Wow, Aries. Let's get another card out here with regards to possibly and a card fell. Let's have a look and see what it is. Oh, they're reaching out to you without a doubt. There they come. This is their future actions towards you. They are reaching out to you. They want to come back in. They want to offer the branch of peace literally with the two of wands energy. One of the things that they may do when they come into you with the two of wands energy being there is they may tell you they want to have a lifelong partnership with you. The two of wands energy is the energy of being with somebody for a lifetime. They are going to come in telling you that you are their person. They're going to come in telling you possibly even that you guys are soulmates with each other and that they miss you that they miss you. Um, let's see though what Spirit Guide advises for you here with the Psychic Tarot of the Heart Energy Tarot deck. Let's have a look and see what does Spirit Guide advise you. And today cards are just falling in your reading. So I'm going with this card if I can get it. Let me see what it says. Wow, they've given you the Flow card which is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position. And this tells me, this is the meaning of the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position. It tells me that, first of all, this has been going on for a while. The bad luck or the, the, the direction that this relationship was taking was something that was happening slowly over a period of time. So they may have been honestly um, unfaithful to you for a while and you didn't know about it. But I think you could feel it happening. This card of the Wheel of Fortune literally tells me that it's up to you now what you're going to do. When the Wheel of Fortune comes in, it's a door that opens. It doesn't matter if it's in the reverse position or in the upright position. It is your decision if you step through that door or not. Whenever we see the Wheel of Fortune, I know even spirit guides cannot be involved in the decision that you make. Whatever you do will be the direction that your life takes. It is like you have just met a forked road, even with the two of wands being here. It's that energy of where do you go? Which road are you going to take? And this is totally left up to you to do. I think you have to trust your intuition more than anything and see which, which part of the road is pulling you the most. Whatever happens here, whatever decision you make, you need to know it will move to a place of positivity. But that decision is up to you, Aries. There we go. I'm sending love and light as you move forward. Bye.